Okay then guys, it's Mark here. This is a little um, revision uh, live worksheet here. It's a live worksheet uh, or a smart worksheet. I'll be putting it up on Google Play in a day or two's time. Um, just do C3, C4 maths revision. Anything like that and the app should pop up in Google Play. Always look out for a doggy icon when you see a doggy. Uh, that will be one of my apps most likely. His name is Freddy. So when you see a Freddy, you're welcome to download it, it'll be one of my apps. All my apps are free. So as I say, you're welcome to download any one or more of them. This one is, this live worksheet is on C3 and C4, Maths Past Paper Revision, for the Ed Excel Examinations Board. And we're going through here, C3 and C4 for January 2012 examination papers. And this is the arrangement of the live worksheet. So we start off with past paper PDFs if you want to have a look at the papers independently and just have a little look through them. There they are there, just download them there. And then uh, the questions are arranged here sequentially from question one through to the end of the paper. And uh, they're all itemized as topic by topic. So when you have a go, uh, basically the question will show a tick so that you can keep a track of your progress on each respective paper. Of course there's resets, so you can reset any row. Or reset all if you want a fresh go uh, at uh, have, attempting the questions. Uh, of course, when you click on a question topic by topic, you can the question will start at the beginning, so you can press pause to read the question and perhaps have a go at it. And then, when you want to check out the video solution, just resume play on the video and you can see how it's worked out or one of the possible solutions. So as I say, it's designed to help with revision, and we're going through these two examination papers. Right along the bottom, there's a whole arrangement of tips and tools for you. Uh, that This is the user guide, of course. There's an email math queue. We've got a question on this particular topic. Then by all means, give us a buzz. Send us an email. Uh, best to write down the question by hand, capture a picture on the phone, append it to the email, and send it in by clicking on this button here. And if I get your videos, uh, your video, uh, your question, I'll be able to write you up a video YouTube uh, solution to it and send you the YouTube link. These are the resets as we mentioned. I'll be putting up some tools, so I might put up an integrator, I might put in a differentiator, a plotter, s a selection of tools that's available that you can use to make your life a little bit easier when checking the solutions for these things. Um, apps, I'll put a recommended app and also my app developer page in general for ease of access there. PDFs, well I'm going to put the mark schemes up here for both papers from the examination board. So these will be the mark schemes. So you can check and look at the solutions here as well as looking at the videos, there's a PDFs there. And then the extras between now and the time I put this up on Google Play, I'll be ensured to include them also. So just a quick word then about revision when you go into examination, what's the best thing to do? Well I think the best thing to do is have a quick read of the paper. Read the examination paper, just scan through it topic-wise from the beginning to the end, and that way you, you become familiar with the paper. And it gives you a chance, familiar uh, with the paper, and that gives your, chance, your brain an opportunity to start working on the, on the questions. Even though you're probably going to start a particular question, your mind will subconsciously start to process the quest all the questions that you've seen. So when you come to do the question, hopefully it won't be too unfamiliar and you will have already subconsciously worked out some of the solutions part way. So that's what I would do. I think it saves time in the long run and also it enables you to make a uh, question selection because you want to get off to the best possible start uh, or the best start possible. And often the best way to start is to choose a question you're confident with and you know how to do and you've done a lot of work on and you can do in double quick time. So that way you get off to a best possible start by choosing those questions that you're familiar with. Find nice questions you want to do, do those and then work your way through the paper that way. Tick off when you've done a question and when you've done all the questions then and they're ticked off then you would, you never leave early but double check the paper. You want to week out every last possible mark so you get all the marks you deserve. So it's best to double check all the questions. Sometimes a question says show that. And when it does say something like this, then clearly these sorts of questions won't need double checking because the question itself will tell you whether you've got it correct or not. And then when you finish double checking in the examination, always triple check. 
So that you eke out every last possible mark and you get the just desserts for all the hard work that you've put in for these particular topics and you do it yourself justice really. So that's the approach that I personally would adopt and hopefully there's some little pointers there that you may want to uh, bear in mind when you think about doing an exam. There's no harm in doing it sequentially of course and working your way through but sometimes questions are long, tedious and time consuming and they can waylay you and take up an inordinate amount of time. So bear that in mind when you're going through the paper. So it just remains for me to wish you all the best then guys if you've got a C3 or C4 examination paper in the near future. I hope it goes well and I hope you get some benefit from this live worksheet and hopefully I'll catch you again in another revision session. Cheers!